and welcome back to this week's uh, The Long Voyage, and this is the second hour, and we are in the middle of a fight where <clears throat> our erstwhile heroes and single uh, heroine is, um, they're fighting um, a group of Phelan uh, warriors, and um, they're doing quite well, I have to say. They've killed two. Uh, and only been scratched in return because of my pathetic rolls. Um, mm -hmm. So, we have a new round. Uh, Ilva, you are still facing one guy. Uh, what do you want to do to him? Who something, braced her armor. Something, yes, something awful, I guess. I'm going to smash him. Yes. Ilva smash. Ilva smash. Ooh. It's too bad that it's not a crit when it's an 8 on this. Exactly. And he tries to block that with his shield. Aww, don't. And he does, but there is a pretty good chance that you're gonna destroy his shield. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god! Oh! Just shatters. The shield. Five, four, basically. Four, five, five. All of you see this, how how he manages to get his shield up just in time to, to block this cataclysmic blow. And the shield is just, it's so much tinderwood, it shatters. Isn't and it, isn't it something about when it's impaling and you shatter the shield, everything above the shield's HP yes, goes through? Yes, it does. <laughs> and that means he does take damage. He's not dead. But he does take damage. He probably wish he was. I mean, he's probably soiled his uh, britches at this point. But, There's um, no no doubt whatsoever that he is a very frightened man at this point. That was just epic. Um, and I only think her comment is, "Yeah, no fun when you're on the receiving end, isn't?" And let's see. That was Ilva Frodi. Yes, I've turned to the next one in... in yes, in you have. The guy who is not life. bleeding on the ground and very dead. I'm gonna... I really should have done the calculations for this. Oh well. I'm gonna go with a slashing. Okay. Yep, you hit. Ooh, nice! Very does he want to parry it? I should ask. Uh, he does. Actually, he tries to block it. He does. Well, his shield takes 10 damage. Yes, it does. His shield takes damage. Oh, right. And that is... That was Frothy. Sindri, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm still facing up to this one guy. Yep. Uh, yep. I should like to try and hit him with my mace. Good idea. Also, You're going to mace him in the face. <laughs> I also want to point out, guys, we're doing this really quickly today, so very good on everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do in fact hit him. What do you mean we're doing this very quickly? Uh, we're we're moving through the rounds really quickly. <laughs> well, he tries to he tries to block it, but yeah, he blocks. He blocks it anyway. So either way, it's been poor damage. You're not supposed to give them a fly kick in the face. I mean, we both. Probably the exact same thing, <laughs> yeah, 2 one, one. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. well. You, yeah. Okay, so we, so I think we'd be doing more damage if we just dropped our weapons and started slapping each other about the face. Probably. Uh, oh, hey. get off! And I think a slap from Elmo would still hurt pretty much. Like it would. Uh, it well, Phelan number two is the guy who's facing Sindri, so he now tries to return the favor, and he hits. You want to block, mm -hmm. or parry, Good. or dodge? Uh, uh, a block, if I can do it. Yeah, it's dangerous saying yeah, you don't you want to block, because then she'll just roll epic damage. Yeah, okay, you let's do, see what... You, you avoid, so... Yep, so let's see if we... Uh, how much damage does my shield take? Yes, let us, in fact... <laughs> no damage at all, it, this it's This is fine. so bad, our damage rolls are Jeez. awful! Jeez. Yeah, just, uh, just wailing on each other ineffectually. Guys, yes. I could use some help over here. And so basically, see. you're bitch slapping each other. There's the guy who's facing Frothy. Yeah. And he hits. Well, I don't think I've used my reaction this round. You haven't. No. 
You haven't had to. Ah, so let's see what he does damage wise to your shield. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we continue like this. We're going to be doing this for, at midnight, for goodness just, sake. It's just, just as you were saying, we were doing it so fast and efficiently. And we are. Nuffle, we're moving Nuffle really like, swiftly, but we're just doing no damage whatsoever. Yes, and Nuffle was like, efficiency in this role-playing game? I do not think so. Clearly. And then it's number four, who's facing Ilva and is now shieldless. I don't uh, think it surprises. Bit of splinters in the face and stuff. Yeah, I don't think it surprises anyone that he turns tail and tries to run. Oh, hey! that. Uh, because that that was bad. Hey, he fucking go! Come back here! Well, you do get a free attack <laughs> on him as he tries to get away. Yep, you hit yep. him. Yep. Yeah. Basically, uh. there there goes the planet. You uh, you get the spike just as he you know starts to run. You extend the the the, the length of your hammer to to uh, the maximum, and the spike goes down right where his neck meets his shoulder, and he just basically that's she just him. uses the full length of it instead of yeah. you know close combat. Yeah. So that that goes down right where his neck meets his shoulder, and that's the end of him. Don't you fucking dare run away. So, yep, they are now badly, And then she looks at the others with the, what the fuck are they doing? And, 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 it's now Gilfie's turn. Oh, well, Gilfie, as, as, as equal, is, is equal distribution of help, he would now try to help Sindri's fight. Yes. It's going fine, yeah. none of them are getting hurt. Yeah, you said that, you just had to say that. Mm. I mean, I did get. I mean, Sindri did get. Him. Wow, that's another, that's another crit. <laughs> okay, Sindri's retiring from archery. Yes, can handle it now. <laughs> so that's another nine points of damage on the guy who's facing Sindri. He's still standing, but he's definitely hurting from this arrow sticking out of his abdomen. <laughs> he's still standing. Or uh, his ass. Oh. And. Like a true survivor, feeling like a little bitch. Let's see. That was Gilfie. So it's Ilva's turn. There is only one within reach of you right now, and that's the one fighting for Odi. Let's end him. Good thing Throdi doesn't mind kill steals. <laughs> Baggy got tired of them in the end. <laughs> yes. That might be why he didn't want to follow us around anymore. He. Yes, and he wants to try to... Suddenly, not... battle incoming. Yes, he tries to block as well, because that's his best shot. He doesn't. He oh, nervous. poor man. 16, impaling. That kills him outright. So, yeah. I think it's from above and all the way down. Yeah, so... So it hits his skull and then just yeah, makes just... him into turns his, his his head into mush, basically. Um, only one guy left. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. But he's the one... He, he's he's far back and hasn't actually yet seen what's happened to his comrades, so... Uh, Frodi, what do you want to do? I'm going to be conservative and... Uh, Go get him with the melee stuff then. So you're moving back towards yeah, towards him, okay? Yeah. Yes, I, I could kind of shoot a fireball. Turn around but... to see where his people went. Yeah. He's sorry. Uh, he's he, you can't reach him this round again. It's it's just over a round between the ones who are still you know shooting back there and yes, yes. up front. But Sindri, what do you want to do? Uh, swap back to my bow. Just in case this man, this guy tries to run, I can try and get a shot at him. Uh, he's still fighting you in close combat. Oh, that guy. Okay. Um, well, in that case, I thought I was one of them killed. In that case, I'll just have to try and hit him again. He's got a, an arrow in his in his midsection, but he's still that's, alive. That's, I mean, that's that's helpful to me potentially. Yep, you hit him. He tries to parry, and he does. Okay. So that is then his turn. He tries to hit you back. 
He hits you. And you I block. Look. Let's see what damage he does to your shield. Eight. Eight. Okay, that's one point of damage to the so, shield. So, Ilfie, do you want to have another kill today? Uh, well, he will certainly try. Mm -hmm. And he will do it as aimly as possible. Eight. That's <laughs> fine. You hit him, so damage. Roll a one. Six. Eight. Six, that's pretty good. That is three that goes through. That's five damage. Yes, so basically what happens this time is... He's already got a, uh, a, 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 you know, the arrow in his in his midsection. The next one hits him where men really don't want to be hit, and he keels over and screams as he bleeds to death. In the bum. Um, no, in the front of where the bum is. <laughs> well, it goes it goes through. Uh, well, true. let's let's at the even hey, Sindri. You gave him a Prince Albert. Will Sindri be allowed to, when he starts screaming for practical reasons and for reasons of simple human decency, put him out of his misery yes. to like crush his head or something? Absolutely. <laughs> no one does. No man should have to suffer bleeding to death from 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 the crotch bridge. Yes. No, no. You, also, you put him out of your uh, out of his misery. Okay. Good. We don't <laughs> want him alerting people. No. I mean, it's a bit late for that. We've been alerted. We have to. We don't want him alerting more people. Mm -hmm. No, of course not. There you go. He is. They know the second they're supposed to change out the patrol here. Yep. Well, he's down. They don't already. Everybody is alive. I'm gonna remove your your battle box here because you know, of course, we're not gonna be fighting anymore today. I mean, sure. Why not? That's that's, that's not at all going to happen. Well, you're gonna make cool plans and all. You've been saying so anyway. Yeah, but it's yeah, kind but of. Yeah, but I fail my tactics. Hey, maybe I can do it now. The brain had returned. And you know, you drove the tact. You drove that tactics role before Sindri came along and talked about all of his um, all the information that um, That's true. he gave That's, you. Okay, I'll let you have one more. Hmm. See if hmm. you can roll a twelve again. <laughs> Mm. My tactic has disappeared. Roll three. Okay. Deleted it or something. Uh, well, it's okay. not a twelve. It's not a twelve. It's not a twelve. It's worse. You have. You really have no idea what to do. No, right. we've also just been in a fight. Yes. Dear they will know as soon as the Vitoral doesn't return that something's wrong. Okay. We might be able to use that for our, our advantage if you make a distraction like we talked about. Yeah. I'm also I'm, I've been injured again, so it makes sense that perhaps you all go on ahead. Can you make a distraction on your own, or would you like uh, s uh, Ilva and I can go in alone? I could manage by myself if I if I were able to start some start a fire or something, and then move away and evade. But Gilfie, what do you want to do? Go with them? They're going to try and go around. From the sea into the keep from the from from the port side, and I'm going to keep their attention out here. I mean, are you okay enough on your own? I'm wounded. I'm not crippled. If I again, if I avoid actually engaging, I should. How be badly able... wounded? How badly wounded? Mm, on a scale of one to eighteen, I'd say about fourteen. Huh. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty severe. That's that's actually yeah. very severe. Wait, do we have 14 left, or have you taken 14 points? No, I have 14 left. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I okay. thought you were taking 14 points. Yeah, while, while, we, while, wow. we, while we... Yeah, while we plan, can can I just, like, first aid him? Yeah, Basically, course. just to patch him up a little bit. Yeah. Apply some... Uh, apply some uh, secret... Uh, what, what are you saying, uh, uh, Aya? Well, that's probably a good idea. Ilva took an axe to the face. Oh, that's right, you did, didn't she? She's just not a bitch about it. I'm, I'm not complaining. <laughs> She's hard to subdue, hard to kill, and high pain threshold. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. so, yeah, the point is that it's important that Ilva and Frodi be the ones to actually go into the, uh, into the keep. You know what? Mm. I think I'm going to let you get that, since you said you took an axe to the face. I think I'm going to let you end up with a, with a, a slight facial scar for that one. 
first one to the collection. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's good. You can nail more like your idol. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, um, besides dipping dipping that scar in seawater, might do you some good. Yeah, or will it? <laughs> It'll sting like an absolute bastard, but it. I I think Cindy still insists that Gilfie go with the others. Well, Guilfi says as, as while while they are like talking and debating, he is like applying some <laughs> some holy unguents and yes. you know some of his, uh, his holy unguents, some of his yes. smart and and cool medicines that he brought from from around yeah. the world. Yeah, uh, so wow. this is just a first aid. Yeah. yeah, I'm so happy that oh, wait, Ilva there, bought. There yeah, well, yes. Oh yeah, he yeah. He, he, he succeeds. <laughs> You get a hit point back. Okay. And this and the same goes for like Ilva, okay. like once he's done with the yep, with see. the other. There's one whole hit point. Ooh, Ooh that's a oh, failure. Well, no, 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 <clears throat> we are we are locked up. Unfortunately. No, 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 I'm using luck. Uh, oh yes. <laughs> Smart. Yay! That was Way better. better. Yeah. Yeah, I used the eight. Yes, that's that's it's much better. better. Like no. No. I mean, if you're already patching people up, uh, I have taken some damage too. You? Have we, have we all taken damage? I'm surprised. I thought we hadn't. Yep. You take. Uh, okay. You get one hit point back as well, then. Uh, Aya. Yeah. Okay. And now, now the last roll is for. Yes. Brody. Jeez. Well, it's not a failure, and because uh, that would have to be 17 or 18, so you manage. So this. you get a hit point back as well. This is hard. That were all stuff. Excellent. So we're right. somewhat back to fighting fitness. Yes. Listen, Gelfi. Whoever goes in there, we're not likely to necessarily come back. We'll have to go in pretty much unarmored. You Why? should figure out what. Can you swim in your armor? Sure. <laughs> not that heavy. Can I? Yeah, it's a good point. Is it heavy? Too heavy to swim in? Yeah, it is. Not if you're very strong, though. I mean, it's, it's entirely about strength. I don't think when it comes to no, it's, swimming. it's not. It 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 literally weighs you down. It 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 destroys your buoyancy. Yes. So unless you're able to literally hold your breath for half an hour underwater. Yeah, that's the problem walk. with armor. Is it'll destroy your buoyancy. So oh, well. the point. So again, if you're going to do it, you need to go that way and then try to minimize contact with the enemy. And once we start setting things on fire, get the hell out. All right. Just so you're warned. Me or guilty? Everyone. I mean. I can. He's now torn into like he doesn't like the idea of leaving leaving Sindri on his own. But he doesn't like letting them only only by by themselves. So like, uh, oh. By the way, Sindri, you had uh, you had uh, um, improved vision or something. You had. Um, uh, uh, you had a acute sense, acute, acute sense of sight and hearing. Yes, acute sense of sight. Uh, I think you're the only one with that, aren't you? I have uh, acute sense of hearing. Yes, but not sight. No, I guess I probably am the only one with it. Yeah. Yes, uh, you get to roll, but at a minus four, and um, and uh, um, Frothy, you get to roll your perception sight uh, unhindered because you have night vision. You gave yourself night vision. Yes, and smart. You are smart. Okay, with the mods, with the, with, with the acute senses, does that then, because it's acute senses, that's plus, t is a modifier of plus two, does that mean that with the minus four it only becomes minus two? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. There you go. You both managed. pretty good. You both uh, seem to, s you, well, you both spot something at the same time. You're You're standing so that you can see the ocean from here as well. Yeah, pre pretty sure that on the, you know, on the horizon, just barely, you're pretty sure you can see something starting to move. 
I think we need to move now. That's our ships, you think? I'm thinking it might be, and if it is, we don't want them to see it before we can put uh, the ships on fire. Right. Okay. I'm making an exec- I'm making a decision for you. Go for your going with them. I'll be fine by myself. As many people as possible going in there is necessary. But, but, but... No, no arguments. Go. Come on. All right. Let's get to the water then. Good luck, all of you. Yes? Same to you. Good luck. Swim as quietly as you can. So basically, your plan is for Sindri to stay outside and make some kind of distraction by lighting a fire. Yeah. Uh, lighting a fire <coughs> or creating a hell of a lot of noise or something. Or something along those lines, yes. And then getting... I think the... Sorry, what did you say? I think the fire is the safer option. You know, start setting fire and stuff outside their main gate or something like that. Yes. Trying to fire everything up up there. Yeah, okay. And then bolt for it and hide in the forest. Okay. Well, yeah, you'd, you'd need to get on the horses then, because you've been riding for several days to get back to, to where the... Um, the, uh, uh, the There's no forest here. Uh, no, well, it's... there's probably still places you can hide. Oh, yeah, yeah, plenty. That's the idea was just hide and then get yeah. the hell out of Dutch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's basically the plan. So... And the rest of you are moving down to the water? Yes. As, as sneakily as we can. Yes. The um, uh, Eierborg is built on a spit of land. So it sticks out into the, into the, uh, the water. This means that getting around the... the um, uh, as, you, as we've been talking about, getting around the... Uh, um, uh, the wall and and swimming into the harbor itself is is it's it's not a matter of you swimming you know a hundred paces or something like that it's a longer swim than that so you you can bring you know basic equipment like a weapon or something but more than that and it's going to be a real issue right guess we'll have to do that then. Good thing we have swim. Yes. yes. It's a good thing that just people... Just keep swimming, just keep yes. swimming. You're not... Well, you are under pressure, but there is nothing, you know, There, it isn't like there are 20-foot waves or anything of the sort that can drag you down, so you don't need to roll for, for swimming because you have the skill. Um, That's good. So, yeah. I think uh, once we approach the walls, uh, Throdi would like to spend as much time underwater as possible. Yes, yeah. that's entirely doable. Um, so, you know, taking deep breaths and then going under, and then when you need to stick your head up, <clears throat> you do it slowly so you don't make a lot of noise, and then you take another couple of deep breaths, you go under again. That's that's a perfectly uh, sensible way of, of, of swimming closer, and it's definitely doable. Are there any are there any reeds on the shore? Uh, some, yes. Can we make breathing straws out of them? Yes, actually, you can. Yeah. <laughs> can we make what? Breathing straws, like a snorkel, oh, like primitive snorkels. That's a good idea. That's that's why we brought Gilfie along. Yes. Yes. Kinda like they always do in cut challenge. Yes, yes. Uh, you, you need to use, uh, th this is the thing, unless you're using bamboo, you need to use uh, um, uh, more than one straw, otherwise you won't get enough air through it. But, mm. uh, but that is still something you can do, you can cut yeah. relatively short pieces off and, and swim with you know, backstroke, basically, under the water. Ah, smart. I I think we do that. Yeah, sure. And um, it takes a while. It's not the most efficient way of swimming, obviously, but it it's, it's definitely works. That gives Sindri time to do the distraction. Yes, and again, it is a moonlit night, so it's a matter of, of you not being spotted because you do things this way. It's 
the water obviously is still dark so mm -hmm. so this this definitely helps and and then uh, Sindri what do you want to do more precisely uh, I suppose I would like to try and start a fire that's definitely doable it's summer um, you are standing on uh, on dry heath Yes. So setting fire to that is certainly doable. It's probably also advisable to get the fuck out of there afterwards because that's going to spread like, well, pardon the pun, wildfire. Yes. Oh, don't <laughs> worry. I mean, aside from aside from aside from the dryer heath and things, um, this patrol we've just killed has been very kind in providing some some fuel. Tinder. Yes. I'm sure that the Phalans would love to come along and find their um their patrol um. Being so being used so economically, <laughs> probably. I mean, there is a lot of little wood now after she broke shield. Yep, plenty. Oh, that could have been a cool name to Ilva Shield Breaker. Well, it's not too late. <laughs> well, yeah, she you, you can have multiple turtles. You can have more than one turtle. Okay, so that's the plan: is to start, yep, yeah, start that fire, get the hell out of dodge before you know the whole hill or whatever it is, or the whole bridge ends up going up. Yes. I mean, let's face it, it's good that it's happening there because they'll know, the, the people who sent them out will know that that was part of their patrol route anyway, so they'll know that something's there. Yes. And, um... Yep, but you, you set... You set fire uh, to, as you say, to the, the, uh, to the ridge. And uh, it, the, the reaction is immediate. Uh, people on the wall start shouting. There's no question that you've been spotted. The, the fire catches really, really quickly. It outlines you, so they do see you. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, as you said yourself, you were going to set it so that you did not look directly at the flames, so you don't get your night vision ruined. Um, nope. Which also they means do. that, yeah, the moment you move away from the fire, they lose they lose sight of you. But they know that you're there, and they know in what direction you are, and yes. you can hear immediately how they, because now they're shouting, so you can hear how they're they're shouting for for you know for the patrols to get ready to go out again and in you know in your direction. Hmm. That's good. That should mean that they'll only have, um, at most, in the keep. They might keep a few of the men there, but they'll mostly just have the sentries to worry about. So but the point is, that, uh, uh, Sindri must take, should take advantage of the fact that they can't see him yet um, while he's and just run like hell and be somewhere else by the time the patrols get to where the fire is. Yes, absolutely. And the rest of you, obviously, be being underwater, you can't see or hear what's going on. Um, very occasionally you do have to stick your head up and out of the water because you need to see where the hell you're going um, but you do get uh, little by little you manage to get around um, it's not without risk I need you all to roll 3d6 because again there are these sharpened stakes with metal tips under the water and you are swimming underwater, obviously, and they are very close to the surface. They have to be to tear out the bottom of a Southlander ship. They're very flat-bottomed, mm. after all. So you do run the small risk of running into one of these things. So just 3d6. Just 3d6. Yep, you manage, no problem. And so is Sophie. None of you do that. I would have said 16 or above, and you would have scratched yourself on one of these things, which would hurt like a an absolute mofo. Mm. Um, I'm pretty sure salt water in newly opened wound also hurts. Yes, that too. Good thing and about IP. Potential, again, yeah? potential tetanus and everything. It would be really awful. Anyway, um, you uh, you are uh, you are all lucky enough to avoid these. Uh, Gilfie, you get pretty close. You get within reach yeah. of one of these things, but you don't, uh, you know, you don't get wounded by it. And um, and you can you can tell there are a lot of these stakes. Um, of course, you can't see very far underwater in in the dark and everything. Well, you can, uh, um, 
uh, Frothy, so you can see that there are hundreds of these stakes in the, in, in the seabed. Uh, getting in here is suicide if you don't know how the, the, the route through this. And it's not a straight route, obviously, it's zigzag, so you need to know exactly how to go and how long to sail before you you make a, a sharp turn and so on. It's, it's, it's devilish, to put it in plain words. Yeah. Basically, like our uh, teeth outside your wolf. Exactly. Or uh, Lanoness, I mean. Yeah, the, the teeth of Great Wolf. Except the teeth is uh, that's an, a natural reef. But they've, they've. Yeah, but if you don't know it, you're dead. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, um. Uh, so, yeah, you, you managed to get around, and you are, in fact, in the harbor. And when you stick your heads up just briefly to take a look, you realize that there are quite a few people here, obviously. There are entire war bands who are basically, you know, in this city. This is a war camp. This is not... This city is on a war footing. Well, they do know what they did themselves. Definitely. They, they are... They also know that they don't just do that to the Raven Lady and not expect that she will re retaliate. Yeah. Uh, you can also tell that two ships are being prepped for going out to sea. Right. I, th I think we're, we've gathered somewhere to, you know, whisper. Yes. Right. We'll need to target the ships that are being prepped first. Take them from the outside and all the way in. Right. Can you two, do you have any ways of setting fire? Hmm. Flint and mm. steel? Flint, you, can, you can definitely have brought flint and steel for this, no problem. Mm. That, that's well, it not, is a fire setting mission, Exactly, so and it's not going it. to, obviously, that won't weigh you down, so... <laughs> flint and steel is definitely a thing. There's always a lot of good rope on the poach. Question if is I should stay in the water then for a while and shoot the ships from here and you can go on shore and light some fires there. Well, the problem with that is if you stay in the water, you're well, part of the pot, a sitting duck. It's true. Your fireballs are pretty obvious. It's no doubt where they're coming from. Right, I should get ashore as well then. Yes. Uh, yes. This is a new situation. Give me another tactics roll. <laughs> Deep dudes. Hey, you might manage. Roll, roll the tic tac. Roll the tic tacs. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa, I created. You created. It was smart. Yeah, using fireballs is definitely going to tell everyone here exactly where you are. Uh, and that would be the case even if you are up on shore. They would still be able to basically say, Oh, that came from over there. There's probably someone hostile in that general direction. Yeah, but, but the difference being, if yeah. he's in the water, he can't move as fast. No, that's true. But there is another option. And that's what your tactics role uh, comes up with. He can create fire without having to use fireballs. So if he swims up to, you know, to the ships in the water, puts his hands on the bow and creates fire, he's going to set fire to this ship without people knowing where the hell it came from. He'd basically be, he would be able to hide underneath the pier. I think the second Elva just starts saying that she goes completely quiet as there's a very obvious light bulb going on above her head. What is it, Elva? You can create fire without fireballs. Yes. So hide under the pier and touch the boats and set them on fire. Oh, that's brilliant. No one will see you. They won't know where the fire is coming from. And the fire will have taken very good, you know, It'll get a hold of the ships, no question. It'll get a very good hold of the ships before they have the time to do anything about it. It will be unable to sail. Right. Meanwhile, you two should start in the other end, so we're sure to get as many as possible. 
Yes, but remember, stay under the pier so they don't see you. Right, of course. Okay, so that's what you do. You st or rather, that's the, what you are starting to move towards. And um, uh -oh. um, in the meantime, outside, uh, uh, Sindri, uh, you are being hunted. Uh, th yes. There are men here who are hunting you uh, out and out. And of course. Uh, could you give me a stealth roll, please? Yeah, that went, that went so well last time. That's Seven. much, 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 much better. Yes. Um, yeah. You managed to hide at least, you know, for, for a while. Uh, it's it's probably not, you know, staying in the same hiding place on uh, in a situation like this is is a re really really bad idea. But you realize that they have not one but two sight makers with them, and one of them can see in the dark. Hmm. Hmm, what to do? Can't exactly give myself up. I can't... <sighs> well, don't rely on the darkness to hide. Hide as you normally would. Yeah, is it possible for me to try and hide somewhere like, in deep, in, in foliage, or...? Uh, you know? the, the problem here is that the foliage is going to catch fire eventually. As I said, this is dry heath. Um, so, so this is going. To, uh, this is a brush fire, and it will spread like a brush fire does. Um, there are various uh, uh, natural formations that you could hide uh, in or behind. There are some cliffs in one place, and uh, a, 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 again, a dell somewhere where you can hide because the, the ground goes, you know, dips low um, very suddenly, and then just for a small little hole, basically. So you, there are plenty of places that you might be able to hide. The only problem is that the fire that you yourself has set will eventually chase you out of most of your hidey holes. So you need to move. Right. And I can't... No point shooting at the... side maker because I, I won't be able to kill him out, right? So... Oh, I'm going to have to risk it. I'm just going to have to move. Right, so Try you do. And you That's try how you outrun them. Could try that run them. But. Yep, so you you get uh, you move out and because you you already roll stealth, that was a, a good roll, so you manage to to evade them at first. Uh, give me another sight roll. Sight. Yes, another vision. And it's it's still minus four because it's night, but that's minus two for you. Oh, excellent! You see uh, the other side maker. Um, they're, they're talking for a while. The, the the people who are out here looking for you, and it's a group of ten. Um, right. And uh, the the other uh, the other side maker. Um, they they you can't hear them because you've managed to put some distance between you. But the other side maker seems to to agree on something, and then he throws he, he jumps into the air, and turns into a bird and flies upwards. Shit. You're pretty sure it's an owl. Yep, that's bad. Um, Shoot the bird. Yep. That would have to be a very, very, very good shot. Yep. No, definitely. just run along the fire. And keep a distance. Because if the owl looks too closely at the fire, or it's shining in its eyes, it loses all sight. Is that true? There, there are, it is but that would also put you within, you know, uh, uncomfortable distance to the fire, to put it plainly. Uh, um, you can you can do both. Both are, are entirely valid uh, uh, tactics in this case. Mm. I'll try... I'll try shooting at the owl. Why okay. not? And obviously that's a small target and in the dark and all that, but your sight helps you with that, so you don't get as big a minus as you normally would, so give me a roll. <laughs> that's, 
that so? That God. is unfortunately you don't hit, and the owl is aware clearly that that an arrow just came past it. And let me see if he is clear because again it's in the dark, so he might not realize from what direction the arrow came. Let's see. He does. Oh, he knows. He knows exactly where oh, it he is. Knows. Right, time to run like hell. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just imagine just the the rap, the you know the, the the drums in the background just start like no. You, you might, might be able to get to the horses. I was just about to say you might be able to reach your horses. If I get to my horse, I can just yeah. Then I'll leave them on a merry goose chase. Then don't leave the horses for them. Right. Just no. have all of them run like an idiot. So you run and towards the horses and. What happens is that the side maker who stayed on the ground is um, he does not intend to let you get away. Of course he doesn't. So he I understand why he uses his abilities right and succeeds, meaning that a um, a um, what's it called? Again, John. A uh, uh, lightning bolt shoots out and goes directly for you. Right. You take eleven points of damage. Eleven points. Um, and that's a armor spell. is no help in this case. In fact, it it just conducts the electricity. <laughs> Shit, dude. Um. Lightning rod. Okay, that that stung. That was a powerful spell. It Ouch. was. Uh, oh, I hope you're not stunned by this. How would I? What, what would it what would it require for me to be stunned? Uh, you can see so under your health. Yeah. Uh, your hit points show you at what level your uh, you will be reeling. Yes. Uh. For uh, the reeling would be seven. Yes. But because she has massive uh, amounts of health, yeah. well, that is still her. Yeah, but I don't. Because she does uh, other stuff, it's even less. I don't see where that is, I'm afraid. So I can't tell you. If I don't know where it is, I can't tell you whether or not I'm stunned or not. Actually, give me a health roll. Just a basic health roll, not what you have right now. Yeah, fine. Adrenaline. Okay, you, keep going. Yeah, you keep going, uh, but Spite. you are in you are in an ungodly amount of pain. I imagine my body's locked up a little bit too. Yeah, so. yeah definitely. You know, you, f you have this feeling like your teeth are shattering. Uh, mm hmm That was probably the most painful thing you've ever experienced. But you keep running because you realize if you stop, you're dead. Mm hmm Um. And you do manage to reach your horses. Um. And you get up on 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 yours. Mm -hmm. What do you do about the rest of them? Uh, spook them. them. Yeah, spook, spook them. them. Well, they're already pretty uncomfortable because the the fire is getting closer. But but you've tied them somewhere, obviously. So. Yep. So if you release them, cut. they're yeah, cut the. Yeah, cut, uh, cut mine loose and then strike. Uh, strike one of them across the flank with my bow, basically. Yeah, and you you cut all of them loose, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they run. Yeah, and so do I. Yes. Funny enough, they all run in pretty much the same direction you do, which is away from the fire. That's fine. Strange that. And um, yeah, it's 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 really weird, isn't it? And on that note, we're going to go uh, back into where the others are. And um, we'll deal with uh, Frothy first, I think. Seeing yes. as you have split up slightly uh, yet again. And um. uh, you are now... You've managed to get to one of these ships that is being prepped f to sail and you can hear people walking on the um, on on the pier up above you on the gangplanks basically you can you can hear it the right as day you can hear what they're talking about and and so on so yeah slightly unnerving i imagine it's it's definitely 
un uncomfortable and it's also a matter of you realizing that yeah okay you know that you, you need to wait until there's nobody right above you before you do this obviously obviously but uh, you can tell what they're talking about and what are they talking about they are making a fire ship What's what a fire ship? A fire ship is basically it is a it is a ship which is filled up with um, uh, there's no no thunderclap, uh, Sindri. Um, oh no, Fair uh, enough, sorry. Anyway, uh, a fire ship is a ship that is filled up with flammable materials, set a uh, set a flame, and sailed directly into a densely packed formation of enemy ships. They won't be able to get out of the way in time. You're going to create complete mayhem in the, the you'll break up the enemy formation and you're probably going to create not only panic but you're going to set at least one and probably quite a lot of ships on fire well, sounds like lucky. a f fun thing to light on fire in the harbor it does indeed doesn't it so when i get the chance yes Go ahead and roll. I think we should thank them for making a fire ship and leaving it for us to set on fire when we... Obviously, but they had no idea that you were there. But it's uh, uh, also... We're gonna burn all those ships. Yep, go ahead and... and fire ship on fire now. <laughs> yes. Go ahead and, uh, and roll to create fire. You have the spell, I believe. Yes. This is for my mom. Oh. Oh. Well, that's well, a 17. That's a 17. Which means that, okay, what I'm going to do is, you do in fact create fire. Mm -hmm. You create a fuck ton of fire. Oh, your rage uh, at remembering your mother means that instead of creating a little bit of fire that could possibly, you know, it could be hidden where it comes from, you have a flare of flame coming up along the side of the ship. Yeah, sure, you've definitely set this ship af uh, ablaze. You've set the the wooden pier ablaze, and everybody here knows where you are. I would like to dive underwater and swim somewhere else <laughs> for as long as I can, and I have breath control, so hopefully that's quite that's a while. That's very useful right now. Very now useful. we just... I said a little fire, Frothy. Frothy, goddammit! And the rest of you, you two, who are going elsewhere, you realize the second this happens that something went spectacularly wrong. The good thing for you is that everybody... Is everybody is going in that direction now. Oh no, the fire ship is ablaze at the pier and the ship beside it and oh my god. Not only that, but they they realize that there is somebody in the water. There are only a few guards left the, where where you are going, basically. Yeah, but he's still caught in the water. He is. What you guys hear before this happens, by the way, is very important, because you can also hear people talking on the pier, obviously, or on the on uh, up on land. It goes without saying. And what you hear is you hear these these phalans moving around these these people from different warbands, and they're telling uh, they're they're talking about how basically they're going to surprise the fleet that's coming in. They know it's coming. That's why they're creating these fire ships. They know that you guys are on your way. There are more than one fire ship? Two. Then we should probably find the other one. Yes. I'm gonna use your fucking fire ship against you then. And yes, Sindri is asking a really good question there. Um, but uh, yes, you um, you can't you can't see from down under the waterline is. Um, who is is uh, uh, or where the f which one is the fire ship? Because nobody's moving around on any of the ships right now, except as I said, for a couple of guards. 
uh, everyone else is moving towards where <laughs> Frothy just made a conflagration. <laughs> well, can't you actually see it on the ship? Uh, well, you need to be able to look into the ship, so you have to get up out of the water to see it. Good thing it's a very low ship, so it's like pulling yourself up stealthily, looking. Yes. And it looks like whatever they've been trying to do, the second ship isn't prepared yet. You can't spy, you can't spot one. Um, hmm. But it takes you a while to check the various different ships. And in the meantime, I need Frothy to give me a breath control roll. Yes, I imagined you'd want one of those. That's fine. What? Excellent. That's if you ever had to make a roll, that was the one. <laughs> this is where you should have been able to turn into a fish and then just just keep swimming. Just keep I'll swimming. imagine if his his animal form was a fish and it activated in the same way. Fire, fire show, fire show. <laughs> <laughs> then it wouldn't be as <sighs> imagine all of that stuff happening. Yeah. And then finally his skin changes into a card. <laughs> Flop. <laughs> and then <laughs> all over the floor. <laughs> hey, don't don't knock a walrus. They're nasty. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, because Gilfie just uh, for the for the listening audience, Gilfie just mm. rolled. Then he turns into a walrus, and it was like, yeah, walruses are mean. <laughs> Narwhal. So <laughs> that was a huge. Yeah. So. And they look weird with that huge tooth. Yep, they do. So, yeah, the you guys... Uh, yeah, the unicorns of the sea. Uh, you... Um, you do manage to hold your breath for quite a long time. In fact, you manage to hold your breath so long that you swim underneath another ship and get up on the other side of it to breathe. Yeah, I suppose that's a chance to set more fire. It certainly is. Um, let's get Just another roll for that. Roll, please. I'm simply too good at creating fire. Got a little angry. In that case, he doesn't say it out loud, but he thinks this is for my dad. Yeah. That much, was a lot better. much better. Yep. You make fire, and it gives you enough time to get away before it catches for real. Obviously, oh. they're going to, you know, they're going to figure out, okay, you moved in that direction, but not until you've had a chance to actually get away from where you are now. Which is why I'm now moving in a different direction. Yes. So instead of going in a straight line. Yes. You're zigzagging. Let's go back. Smart cookie. Let's go back to, the, uh, to the, um, the, the situation outside, but let's do that when we get back after this break. <laughs> 